Day five, fifth consecutive day, actually. Things are just moving along really well, really fast. The CAD drawing is coming out. Everything's just working out perfect. Um, couldn't ask for a better result right now. So I've got the ball screw just setting up here. I've got these, uh, these are called connector nuts. I use these pretty extensively on my, on almost all the CNC builds I've done. Uh, I'll center this in this tubing here and tack weld these down so that they can't lift up. And uh, when this is embedded in epoxy, all this is going to get covered. You won't, you won't see that. So uh, the epoxy will actually keep the nut from rotating and the tack will keep it from pulling out. Makes a really solid mount. Uh, works works out great and it's super easy to do. Anyway, so I've just ran the, the mounting bolts for the ball screw block uh, through here and then finger tighten the nuts down. I'm going to center this uh, with a tape measure and then then things are going to get a little bit critical. Over here, uh, I'm going to set a rail. I'm going to mount it the same way using these uh, connector nuts. I'm going to tack one down, and then I'm going to screw the rail on it, and then I have to align this rail with the ball screw. And for that, I'm going to use my uh, really fine uh, needle gauge. It, it'll take me a little bit to get it set, but once it's set, I'll tack the other end down, and then the rest of them just fall in between. But uh, that's going to be the most critical part, because if they're not in line really well uh, it'll bind up on its way up like I talked about in the earlier video if you use these kinds of rails or those SBR rails it's not nearly as critical as using these HDR rails um, these are uh, these require to be they're supposed to be according to the documentation uh, within five microns of alignment and parallelism or they'll bind up now in practice that's not really true I would say uh, 20 microns is probably uh, ballparkish, but I, I've had them as far out as uh, 50 microns, and they they still work. But you could tell they're they're a little gummy. But since the screw has a little bit of slack in the hole, uh, you can actually move the rail back and forth, probably close to a sixteenth of an inch to get it lined up really well. And these rails aren't guaranteed to be straight; they're supposed to be straightened against. Uh, part of the machine bed which I don't have on this press I did on the mill but don't hear anyway so that's where I'm going with it I think if you use uh, SBR rails or even those optical rails I think they'd work out just as well and I don't think you'd have to be nearly as critical on the alignment well as they say hindsight is always 2020 uh, I've got the ball screw mount the the nuts tacked down back there and the ball screw is a little lower than it's supposed to be uh, drew it that way on purpose. I'm going to print some uh, plastic spacers to put under here so I can tighten these up and compress them and get it to the exact height I need before the epoxy sets. That way this has got a good solid bed to set on. So that's not a problem. That's, that's expected. This, however, um, I welded these nuts together. That was the very first step I did. That was not, not really a mistake. I was trying to prove a concept and and I did prove the concept and it, it does work. So, what should have happened is this should have all been built first. The jig that I used to tack these together with should have had a hole in the center of it for the ball screw so I could locate this end of the ball screw. Because looking at it, it's at the right height right now, but the ring actually needs to be up about a quarter of an inch which is going to make the ball screw a little bit off center. Not a big deal because I already know that the other end of it's too low on purpose and I can raise it up as much as an inch if I needed to. Uh, but I can't move it left and right. I can only move it up and down. And because of that, if I were to put this ring in here, I can find up and down center pretty easily and shim underneath it. But left and right, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So I should have made that jig with a hole in the center of it, tacked this together, and then slid all of it on here. And then I could tack the support bars that hold this nut ring on inside this frame. And then tore the jig off, and it would have saved me a print. So as it is, I'm going to have to go back and reprint that. I'll probably just print four uh, cardinal directions. And then put a hole in the center to locate the ball screw so I can get this this ring located where it belongs but anyway other than that uh, it's coming along pretty good 
I got about 30 minutes into it and I'm, I'm pretty happy. So I'm just gonna keep on trucking. I've got the two back legs put on on the outside. I'm gonna put on the, the front legs on the outside and then uh, probably quit for the evening and we'll you know we'll hit it again tomorrow and see how far we get uh, those rails are going to be a bit of a problem get them lined up on the sides but other than that man i'm i'm pretty happy with it i'm at the end of day five i've got an hour and 15 hour and a half in it maybe something like that so ball screws mounted i got the the rails just clamped up there right now uh this you know just like in the cad drawing this goes up and down with the ball nut uh, ball nut's not going to turn it's actually going to be this whole big ball screw that turns and then this nut stays stationary but that's uh that's it i'm pretty happy with it everything's coming out really good i'm i'm really excited so tomorrow i'm going to try and uh make this parallel with the ball screw and i gotta as i talked about earlier i gotta reprint that the template for the ring so i can locate the center of this and whatever this height ends up to be from here, well, I'm going to lay it on surface plate. So whatever the height ends up to be from this back edge back here up to the bottom of the ball screw, I'm going to match that down here on this end with those uh, printed plastic washers I was talking about, little spacers. So once that's done, I'm going to line up this rail, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to, going to make the other rail parallel with this one, and we're done. Then I just got to hook the motor up and start working out some code and different stuff but all that stuff's pretty easy so should be fun